together, the two could barely look at each other. I would do anything to gain my father's love. And I reached a point, I came out of high school, I was going to go to college, and I said, Dad, I'm going to go to college, you said, good luck. But she'd had things, you know. And right then, something inside me said, you know, if you ever going to get him to love you, you're going to have to be better than he is at what he does. So I went out to the ring, and I jumped in there and got the crap beat out of me. And when I walked back in that locker room, he looked at me and said, I'm ashamed of you. You'll never amount to anything. And walked away. And that's when I gave up my dreams and said, okay, by God, if it's the last thing I do, I'm going to shove this business up his rear. And guess what? I did it. And guess what? It didn't matter. Well, he's got a, he's got a lot of good qualities. And uh, it's... Uh, he was born out of love, and I still love him. My stepmother was very uh, jealous of the time that my dad spent with uh, me and my sister. And um, it drove my sister to the point that she wound up marrying a 50-year-old man, and then a year later being kidnapped and murdered by his ex-wife. And we've never got her body. We know that she was dead because there was enough blood in the car to know that she was dead. The woman went to prison for kidnapping, 10 years, got out and said, please tell us where the body is. Fuck you guys, we're not telling you shit. You know? And it's always seemed like all of my life, it's like there's one gruesome, horrible thing happened after thing. So my stepdad, who I felt very close to, he winds up getting electrocuted in the attic of our house. My mother goes up and finds him.